This is how the cue collar works. Blood goes up in your head unimpeded, and the cue collar puts slight pressure on your jugular vein, about the same as a necktie. And that slows the blood slightly as it's recirculating back to the heart in the veins around the brain. Those veins swell and they act like a seatbelt. They help take up the extra space in the skull to help reduce the chance of brain slosh, which can reduce the chance of brain injury. So it doesn't change your heart rate, it doesn't change your blood oxygen level, it does not impede blood going to your head, it doesn't change your reaction time. There is no adverse effects that come from wearing that slight amount of pressure around your neck. There's been over 10 years worth of research done, over 25 independent, peer-reviewed, and published studies. It's really important to note this research is not done by Q30. From there, the FDA got involved. And the FDA officially cleared the device in 2020 after analyzing the research independently for over five years. This clearance means that number one, the device is safe for you to wear, but number two, it's proven effective. They MRI'd all the athletes' brains to get a baseline image. They gave them all accelerometers to measure impacts. And then half of those athletes were given cue collars and half were not. And they went out and played their entire seasons. At the end of the season, they re-MRI'd their brains and they compared the preseason image to the postseason an image. And what they found were the athletes that wore the cue collar, 77% showed zero changes in their white brain matter. But the athletes not wearing the cue collar, 73% saw significant changes in their white brain matter. 